สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m a s t a n z a Today is Wednesday, November 17th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Approval has been given by the Prime Minister's Cabinet to submit a bid for the rights for Phuket to host a World Specialized Expo in 2028, part of a slew of tourism and development projects that were given approval at Tuesday's Mobile Cabinet meeting in Krabi. If Phuket hosts the World Specialized Expo in 2028, officials say it would generate just under 10 billion baht in tax revenue, part of a larger economic impact of more than 49 billion baht for the island, and could create over 113,000 jobs on the island. The approval came as Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prayu Chanocha chaired the meeting on economic and social development in the southern provinces of the Andaman coast. The cabinet also approved a proposal to construct an underground cable system in the conservation areas of the old commercial district for Phuket town. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Quick action prevented another young man from jumping off one of the bridges joining Phuket with the mainland of Thailand on Tuesday night. Tachat Chai police near the Phuket checkpoint received a call from the young man's parents warning them that their 19-year-old son was on his way after calling his girlfriend to say goodbye and tell her that he was going to jump off one of the bridges at the top of the island. Rescue workers and police, they stationed at the bridge and followed up and met with the young man at about 8.10 p.m. once he parked his motorbike on the Pangna side of the bridge. They intervened and restrained him from jumping off. He was taken into protective custody and transported to a local hospital in p e n g y a province. The 19-year-old is the third man who looked to jump off the bridge at the northern tip of the island this month and the first that officials were able to take into custody before they jumped. A 25-year-old Thai man jumped over to the fast-moving waters in the channel below back on November 3rd with another 25-year-old man doing the same on November 13th. The bodies of the two men have yet to be found. If you or anyone you know is in dire need of emotional support and counseling, please contact the Samaritans of Thailand at their 24-hour hotline or the Thai Mental Health Hotline, the numbers for which are on your screen. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. A female pangolin weighing about 4 kilos is now being examined by wildlife experts after it was spotted yesterday in Kamala. Residents of Kamala saw the pangolin emerge from the jungle and curl up asleep under trees beside the canal. Rescue workers were called to retrieve the animal and was taken to the Cao Prateo Nature and Wildlife Education Center in Talang. Pangolins are protected in Thailand under the UN Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, which has voted to universally protect all eight species of pangolins. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. One more COVID death has been confirmed by officials, a 70-year-old man who also had chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Officials confirmed 53 total COVID cases yesterday, including one tourist infection, bringing this month's total cases for the island to 894. Phuket has so far recorded 16,637 cases since the start of the pandemic, most of which were confirmed since this past April. Today we'll close out the show with some surveillance footage from a hair salon in Chumpon province as a cat walked into the salon with a snake in its mouth prompting everyone inside the shop to get away until one of the women brought over a broom and then beat the snake before shooing away the cat. Just another day in Thailand. Thanks for joining us here on this Wednesday, November 17th at Phuket Extra brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Thursday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket.
Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.